Hello everybody. I just wanted to show a quick video on how to repair a Pebble watch that does not have the screws on the back of it, but has a screen tearing issue. I've seen the videos about uh, taking the back off, putting some toilet paper in, and then putting the back back on again to hold down the uh, connector to the screen that appears to uh, uh, loosen up a little bit. I don't have that option with uh, an old style Pebble watch without the screws on the back. So what I did is I um, looked at the pictures from the web and get a rough idea where to drill a hole in the back of the, my pebble. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't focus in that close. But you can see the round uh, uh, part in there. What I did is I used a small drill bit, oh, eighth of an inch or a little bit bigger, I guess, and um, very carefully drilled a hole in there. I just took my time, he poked away at it. The last little bit, I turned it by hand so that I didn't disturb anything underneath there. And then I took a, I should have actually used a, like a plastic rod, something that wouldn't absorb moisture. But what I ended up, I just had at hand, I had a, one of those um, little uh, uh, skewer sticks you use for uh, doing uh, barbecuing and things like that. So I uh, put a bunch of epoxy around it. I pushed it into the hole. And then I put it into a vise just to hold it, anything would do, something would hold the weight down on it so it stayed in place. And I just used a vise, I cut off the stick so it was just short and between the, um, uh, something to hold that stick down in there to hold the pressure on the connector. Uh, and then I just waited until the epoxy, I used that five minute epoxy, the standard stuff you get from the store, you mix two parts together and um, uh, it, you know, it's become strong in five minutes, but in reality it takes more like 24 hours to get strong. And then I just used um, a Dremel tool to cut off the little excess and sort of sand it down so it was flush again, so it didn't bother the back of my wrist. As you can see, I dug into the case a little bit when I was doing that. I didn't get too fussy about it. It really didn't matter to me what it looked like on the back, but uh, it is nice and flush. Um, the only other change I would have made is I would have brought the hole up a little bit farther, if you will, a little further up this way rather than down here. I ended up having to angle it down a little bit to try and hit the connector. I was a little too far down the back of the watch. But anyway, so far it uh, seems to be working. I've only had it a couple of days, but I haven't had any screen tearing. I used to always get screen tearing whenever I got a notification, and that hasn't been happening for the last couple of days. So there's a quick solution. Uh, good luck. And, uh, you know, again, I don't assume any liability, but the thing only cost me 15 bucks at a, at a store, a used store. So I, I wasn't exactly heavily invested in it. Good luck.